back out looking for mushrooms. We got a tip that uh, there's some lepiotas just south of town here, so I th thought we'd take a run out and have a look and see what they could uh, find. And sure enough, here they are. We're not positive what uh, variety these are, but we're gonna take a couple of them and do a spore print. And uh, one of the other indicators is they're supposed to bleed red or orange if they're the edible variety, so we'll also check that out. Well, my picking partner just chopped the top of one of these things here to see what uh, color it bled, and it definitely looks orange to me, so that's the indicator this might just be tasty enough to eat. There you can see the bruising on the underside of it, where I've uh, pressed on some of the gills, you can see it turned orange also, so. According to the book, this is the metabol variety, so we'll see what happens. Here's a couple of them that are really quite mature from the looks of it. Yeah, well past their prime. But you can see the size of them there. Here's the second clump that we've come across. They're not quite as big as the first batch, but there are definitely lots of them here. Here's a third clump of them. This one is actually pretty good size, as you can see. But a fairly good sized patch of them. Here's another clump of them. There are actually some fairly large sized ones there. And quite a grouping of them here. And still another group of them. This is the ones that we've been picking here, the ones that have a real furry, scaly type cap on them. But there's a group over here with a much different cap on them, not anywhere near as scaly. But they really bleed red fast. So I'm going to take and do a spore print of that. You can see the staining on there almost instantly. So I'll take a couple home and do a spore print on these. And I can see it's just full of small bugs. So I'm pretty sure Bob would eat them, but I'm not going to. On the way home we decided to stop at a, a local park and have a look around, and sure enough we found some yellow chanterelles. Not many here, mind you, but what the heck. And also uh, found some woolly chanterelles. You can see on the bottom of these they have the same kind of ridges as the yellow and golden, or yellow and uh, white chanterelles have. But they have the tops that are not quite the same. This is a mature one here, woolly chanterelle. Actually quite mature. But you can see the ridges and flocking on the top of that. And I just before I kneel down there I spotted another large mature one right here. A woolly chanterelle. That 
That one definitely shows the ridges going all the way down the stem, doesn't it? We're just walking along the path heading back to the truck and my partner spotted these elephant saddle sitting right on the side of the path here. There's actually quite a few of them. Up to not bad size too. This one's a fresh one here. They're nothing if not weird. Definitely different, aren't they? Well, that's the end of another trip. I was surprised to find that many Lepiotas, considering I've never found them before anywhere. Mind you, I've never really keyed on them, but today was a great day for finding them. Anyway, be sure and subscribe. Take care. Thanks for watching.